Want to know which pet cards the community members you know have and why they're the pet cards? Find out here. Hello and welcome to Life Begins at 20. My name is Mark and in this series we're going to be doing a community spotlight to pet cards that players have. Whether this is uh, the card is fantastic for them in a cube, whether it's a card that means so much sentimental value for them, whether it's been signed by an artist, alters, or anything along those lines, whether it's been great in commander decks or any other format, I would just like you to share the stories. I mean, I've had such a great response already. There'll be a card on the screen now of how you can get involved as well, plus link in the description below and instructions in there as well to how to get involved. Because Magic the Gathering is such a great game, and the fact that the game can transcend just being a card game between two people and can help individual people so much more is such a great thing about it. Now, today we have the first of the series and we have a really nice story here from Young Mage, which I'm pretty sure a lot of you, especially in my Twitter feed, will know who he is because he's a up, young and upcoming Magic the Gathering content creator and hand his story about his pet card is fantastic. So without any further ado, I'll let him tell you about it. Hey Mark, I love your community idea of sharing our pet cards. I started thinking about my favorite card. Right now that's Pride Sovereign. But when you talked about your first Planeswalker, I have a similar story. The very first pack I opened was Dragons of Tarkir. In it was my first Planeswalker, a Narset Transcendent. I thought Planeswalkers were in every pack. Even though that is a great story, that is not the most important card for me. I will tell you what it is in just a moment. But first you need to know something. I have dyslexia and epilepsy. The dyslexia is actually pretty bad. And I used to have a lot of seizures. Medicines didn't work for me. Epilepsy and dyslexia together made reading and learning very difficult. At the age of seven, I still could not read simple words. I knew the alphabet, all of the sounds, and even the phonetic rules. But when more than two letters were put together, nothing made sense. It was so frustrating with all of the letters and words scrambled into my mind. And that would trigger a seizure. So I would black out for half a minute and lose where I was. When the seizure passed, I was completely upset. So you can imagine that reading was the next to impossible until I saw this one magic card. It was Stormtide Leviathan. I actually read this card without any help. There is something about the font they use for magic cards that allowed me to read. I can't say that this is my favorite card, but it is very important to me. It marks an important day of my life. It started me on a path. Because of this card, I could read. My schoolwork became magic. And that eventually led me to start my own YouTube channel. Something as simple as a magic card can change someone's life. So magic is pretty important to me. And the Stormtide Leviathan is the main reason. So I'd just like to thank Young Mage for sharing that great story. It's so nice to see that Magic the Gathering can be more than just a game to all of us and can actually help our personal lives and that's fantastic. It's really, really moving to see how much magic has actually affected you there and I'm sure many of the viewers here as well will really appreciate that story. And maybe, you know, as a viewer you'll have stories similar to that or how magic has helped you as well. So if you'd like to get involved and share your story with everybody here, the full instructions of how to get your content and your card highlighted in one of these videos is going to be in the description below. So again, thank you so much to Young Mage for sharing his story and I can't wait to show you more. 
I would just like to take this moment to thank my Patreons of the channel. I can't thank you enough for the help and support that you're giving me. If you'd like to do the same, head over to patreon.com forward slash life begins at 20, and there'll be a link in the description below for that as well, where there are plenty of rewards to choose from. With your support, we can really push to make this channel even better. Be sure to check out our sponsor, FiveColorCombo.com, for a great range of Magic the Gathering accessories with stunning artwork, plus a great app to draft and create decks on the fly. Use the referral code LIFEBEGINS20 for 5% off. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button, and if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button for new videos every Tuesday and Friday. With your support, we can really help this channel to grow. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.